Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is a birthday celebration in our family, so we are gonna make that birthday recipient's favorite dessert. It's my son Colin's birthday, he turns 22 today, and his favorite dessert ever for since forever is strawberry pretzel dessert. So this is something I had growing up, and I guess not many people have heard it, maybe you have. Um, we had it growing up, it was really delicious, and I started making it for my family, and they love it. And it's Colin's favorite, that's the dessert he requests. Actually, he doesn't request. I always say, so what do you want me to make you? And he's like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm like, do you want me to make you strawberry pretzel? And he said, yes. So that's his favorite. So we're going to make strawberry pretzel dessert. This is very easy to make, very delicious, and a great time right now because strawberries are cheap because they're starting to come out as fresh produce. So we're going to watch. Jaden's going to put it together for us today. Okay, come see. The smaller version would be half a bag, which is this 16 ounce would be eight ounces crushed up with half a cup of sugar. And then this is three sticks of butter, so it'd be like one and a half sticks. But we are gonna double size it because we're gonna put it in this big pan for everybody. So we are gonna do, we're gonna puree all of these up and crush them up in the food processor, add one cup of sugar, and then we did three sticks of melted butter. So Jane's gonna put this in, and then we're gonna mix it all together and push it down the pan. Okay, so we have discovered that if you just kind of crush it a little bit, like you can beat it in a bag with a rolling pin, it's okay, but when the pretzels get wet, they're kind of mushy and they're kind of gross. So we like to puree them into a fine powder like this. Okay, now she's gonna pour it into the pan. All mixed up. Love the food processor. Gone are the days of trying to mix it all by fork. Okay, so that's what you do for that. You make the crust, push, pat it in your pan like that real good, and then we're gonna put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes until the crust gets hard. Into, into the oven, and we'll set the timer. Okay, so now the girls are gonna cut up all the strawberries for the topping. So we've got six packages. These were a dollar at the discount store, and so they're gonna cut the tops off and slice them. Okay, the girls got all the strawberries cut up here, so now we're gonna mix up in this bowl, this, the middle layer of the dessert, and you're gonna take, um, we're doing the double size with two packages of cream cheese, two cups of sugar, and we're gonna use two eight ounce Cool Whips. So if you're just gonna do a smaller nine by 13 pan, just do one cup of sugar, one cream cheese, and one Cool Whip, but we're doing double size. Okay, now that your crust is all cooled off, you're gonna spread on the next mixture, the cream cheese, sugar, 
and Cool Whip. And then once you have that on, then you're gonna put your strawberries on top. Okay, for the next part, I'm gonna mix up my Jello. The other stuff is sitting in the refrigerator, so I'm doing double. So we're gonna do three, six packages of strawberry Jello. So I'm gonna do five, four cups of hot boiling water, and then let it dissolve. And then I'm gonna add five cups of cold water. So each box says two cups of water, but I'm gonna do like one and a half, just so it's a little bit thicker. So now I get my jello. I put it in the freezer so it sets up just a little bit. It's kind of thick, but not completely. I just didn't want it pouring all the way through to the bottom. And all you do is pour that on top. So that's it. That's how simple and easy it is to make. And then you put it in the refrigerator and let it sit in there for maybe, I'm gonna say a couple hours. It's only 12.30, we're not gonna eat it until dinner tonight. So put it in the refrigerator and then hopefully maybe I'll do a little video of us cutting and eating it tonight. We'll see, and if not, then we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. You can um, go to my blog at plainandnotsoplain.com and get this recipe, strawberry pretzel dessert. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.